afternoon folks Andy with you um, out with my son Tom and Benji and Diane are up the top there right it's the 30th of June 2020 and if you watch me previous videos on the brick kiln Leso pit I said I was going to do part three right now this is that said video part three um, as you'll have seen in the last video I was showing you all the stonework and we're looking at old maps recently I found that this is definitely the area of the pit shaft um, but on the maps it says shafts so as I said over that side there the brickwork is also circular so I'm thinking this is where we are in the two shafts but this is the one we're concentrating on today as I said to you we're going to scrape back at some of the soil good job Tom's here <laughs> he can do that <laughs> yeah slave labor yeah right as you can see we're just going going down a bit just to see if we can discover anything else really I don't suppose we will because I was thinking it was a bit of an archway but I, I don't think it is but let me just take you into show you I've always said it might be some fish in that there but not 100% sure but right I'm just gonna fix you up somewhere if I can bear with me while well, I'll fix you to a tree Um no there's nowhere nowhere really so hang on a sec Let's try not to make you fall off there. <laughs> right. Hey? That's one big root. Yeah. Shut up, we're here. I might be in charge. No, it's uh You know what that reminds me? The wash baskets? No, it's uh orange. It's not a car bumper, is it? No. I think it's garden chair. That ends there, so it goes. No, it ends there, does it? No, it ends there, does it? Yeah, he was right. <laughs> there you go, it went under. Limestone. Small Yeah, 
Nothing. Uh, right, folks. Where's the camera? Oh, there you are. Right. We're going to go over this way slightly and dig a bit out to see. Come on, Tom. At least the uh, soil is dry, you know. So we're not we're not going to get too too messy, you know what I mean? Yeah. See, if you stand here and look, that definitely looks arched to me. Yeah, stand back here, Tom. Yeah, it does. That looks like it goes over. It the does. Mountain. It does definitely look arched, doesn't it? But it looks like a one doorway. I've only yes. seen it for like one person at a time, which it would have been back then. Because you like no, to carry it in No, don't forget the shaft of the, you'd have gone down for me. Because I'm, I, I don't know. I don't know which way it is such. But the problem is, there's no photographs of this as a pit. There might be some drawings somewhere if you look around in like a library or something. Nice. You're folding on my camera. Not at all. <laughs> that looks deeper than it actually is. So what do you say this place is called then, if it's not the black ash? This is Brick Kiln Liso Pit. Brick Kiln Liso Pit. Yeah, Pit Mound. Brick Kiln Liso Pit, Pit Mound. That's a lot. That is slim. I know that's why I'm slim. Hi guys, this one's just a short video, and right now I am at my dad. I'm with, at my dad. I'm with my dad at Rick Kiln Lisa Pit Mound in well, Maidley. In Maidley, which um, I have always called the Black Ash or Dead Man's Swamp. And then I've got slave labour happening. Take me to those. He's got his camera over there. Not here at all. Actually, it's quite good. Oh. The camera over there. That's down below. Go in, go in. We're with Dine and Benji back there. Right, right there. Oh, very deep at the moment. Right, folks, let's take you over. Okay. We haven't gone down far, but it is full with um, dirt. The rocks, as you can see. 
so I'm not really sure what to say what this if there was an archway here or not but it does look like it I so you can see Prickle. Oh yeah, there's those little things also bite you. They're a pain in the backside. <sighs> I had bites all on my back the other day from them. <sighs> anyway guys, um, <laughs> my dad's been doing it. Is this a third part or fourth part? For the uh, third part. My dad's doing a, a like a little um a, a, like a mini series. A mini series of the pit mounds. Uh, this is his episode three. <sighs> Is it? Which, yeah. Um, and I'll leave, I'll like, um, put his subscription sticker in the corner, and mine also. And at the end of it, I'll put one of his videos, and you can go and check that out from part of this series, and I'll see you guys in the next part. Right. Bring you back in, back in a bit, folks. Right, we're back. Uh, don't know what to say about that really whether it is an archway or not but I think to find out there's a lot more work involved but that was just um, my thinking anyway but the moral of the story is we're in the right place of where the shaft or shafts were anyway so as you can see all the brickwork goes off up over that direction yeah. and I'm pretty sure it came round in the circle here around this way somewhere but it's hard to see with all the brambles but the stonework goes all the way round here There is stone working here, but I'd say it. I'd say, well, I know we're in the right place because of looking at the maps. But um, what I will do, I'll put a link to the side by side map on under this video. Um, just thought I'd come and have a bit of a scratch about today while well, we've got Tom with us we're off out on a a walk and uh, only got the little shovel but I think I'm going to come back and do a part four uh, bring a better shovel and uh, have a proper scratch about but if you look from here it does look like an archway either that or it's my eyes with a playing up right or both. hey or both yeah yeah all right Like I say, stone and brickwork in there. There you go, look.
Вот. As I've said before, I'm not an archaeologist, just someone who's nosy and interested in the local area. So that's why I'm doing all this. So there's the woofers up there and Tom. Most probably seen him posing on the video. <laughs> right. I'm going to uh, leave it at that for today. Look out for part four, folks. Thanks for watching. See you in another video very soon. And stay safe. Bye for now.